cricket teams over the years, but today's against New South Wales to secure the Sheffield Shield final takes the cake. A gritty effort with the bat yesterday, but as the Blues move sweetly over the 200 mark with just two wickets down today, it looked curtains for our boys. Then the true WA spirit came to the fore. Joe Angel broke through, Terry Alderman and Bruce Reid stepped in, and it was all over. Shield win number 13 on the shelf. It wasn't the best start by New South Wales. First Steve Waugh surviving a confident appeal. Then Small given the benefit of the doubt as Alderman plugged away. But then Waugh, seeking his fourth successive century against WA on the ground, found some touch. And in the same over, dealt out even more punishment to Alderman. Meanwhile, Small was looking better too, posting his half century as the Blues took charge. The stand had produced 118 when Waugh went for 68. A real boost to WA's flagging spirits. The turning of the tide came after lunch when it was least expected. Small went for 98, but the Blues were still in command at 3 for 202. More danger signs, though, when Angel broke through again a few moments later to bag Mark War. Alderman was brought into the attack, and this signalled mayhem. Matthews brilliantly caught, wild celebrations for WA, but big Tom Moody a later rival. Off his next ball, the veteran sent Emery on his way. New South Wales now 6 for 225. One run later, and Reid, with the help of Moody at slip, did the job on Friedman. Seven down and 100 runs needed. The Blues had lost six wickets for just 34 runs when Reid followed up with Lawson's scalp, eight for 236. A defiant blow by number 10 Holdsworth to keep his team's hopes up. But a couple of balls later and it was nine for 244 when Bevan was brilliantly run out trying to retain the strike. The honour of taking the final wicket should have gone to Reid. The gallant Holdsworth made WA pay for that slip, hoisting hero Alderman over the long on boundary. He and Whitney put on a brave 37 and then it was all over. After four days of struggling to stay in the game, WA had won the shield for the 13th time. A truly amazing turnaround. So another fantastic day for WA cricket, a lion-hearted performance when the chips were down. And Tim Gossage was right there in the thick of things as their memorable victory was just starting to sink in. Let's go and get Derek. Jubilation as Western Australia adds yet another Sheffield Shield title to its ever increasing list. In a match long to be remembered for its changing fortunes, it was WA that emerged the victor. For Darrell Foster, a fitting end to his 18 years as state coach. Fantastic. God, sad to see him go. For the vanquished, a disappointing finish. The Shield literally taken from their grasp after the lunch break. Blues skipper Jeff Lawson was gracious in defeat. He couldn't fight back the tears as WA fans farewelled the veteran with a thoroughly deserved standing ovation. Oh, I don't think you'd complain too much about the value uh, at the Wacker over the last five days. It was uh, a good finish. Unfortunately, we're on the wrong side of it. For youngster Justin Langer, a match and moment he'll never forget. We just stuck to it. And, oh, mate, we've got the shield in our hands now, and that's all we're, that's all we're after. The same applies for Tim Zura. Celebrations will go well into the night. Oh, what do you reckon? <laughs> Tim Gossage, 10 Eyewitness News. Well done, guys. Football now. And